Welcome. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through an Excel template to track leave or vacation for employees in an organization. This is a free template that you can download from inzara.com. I'll be putting a link to the free download in the video description below. And I'm going to walk you through the different functionalities that are available within this template now. So we start with the setting sheet where we have a list of leave types that we can assign. So in any such organization, we can have multiple types of leave that we want to track. And so in this case, you can enter up to five different types of leave. So we can have vacation, sick, unpaid, half day or other. You can rename this according to your needs. Also, you can choose if you have different units of leave. For example, it doesn't have to be one day of leave. It could be a half a day. If you want to track that, just put half a day. Um, so this is how you can customize the leave types. You can also customize the days that you consider are weekends in your organization. So if it is only Sunday, you choose that. If it's Sunday and Saturday, you choose that accordingly. And you can enter the list of holidays for your organization. So in this case, of course, if I want to put latest data, I can do August you know, 15, 2024, and then I can do November 25th and November 20th. Just making it up, just if in case whatever the holidays in your company are, you can enter them in this list here. Now that's everything about the settings. Now we move into the employee list. This is where you can enter the list of employees in your organization that you want to track lead for. And every employee will have a start date. And if the person has left, then there will be a termination date. Otherwise, you just put the start date and leave the termination date blank if the employee is still employed. Now, then we go to the leave sheet. And in the leave sheet, you can enter a specific employee and the leave that they are taking. For example, first I've chosen Adams as an employee. And then from 10th January to 15th January of 2024, uh, Adam is taking a type of leave called as vacation. So from 10th to 15th. Now, this is all you need to enter for every single leave or vacation that the employees are taking. If the employee is again going to take another uh, period of time for leave, then you enter a new row. So you can enter the rows as and when new um, leave or vacation requests are coming in and you can enter them there. Uh, an employee can have any number of uh, leave records. Similarly, you can enter leave or across multiple dates. As I showed here from 10th January to 15th January, you can enter them or you can do one day at a time. So let's say, for example, it's 15th May, Clark is taking an unpaid leave. So it's 15th May to 15th May. So it doesn't have to be um, not limited. You can enter either a single day of leave or you can enter a range of days of leave all in one row. That makes the data entry a lot easier. Now let's go to what the output is. This is all the data that you're entering, right? So you enter the settings, you enter the list of employees, and then you enter the leave that the employees are going to take. And then you go to the employee report where um, you can, of course, in this, you can choose the year and the specific employee. So I can choose, let's say Adams, and you saw that Adams was taking leave from 10th of January to 15th. And you can see that, you know, shown in black color because that's the color for vacation. And uh, Adams also has November 15th as sick. And so that's why that is sick. So again, this is all made up data for 2024. Obviously, uh, we are we have not entered 2024 yet, but um, whatever data you enter in the leave table, that will come through and get displayed in the calendar. Exactly. So for each employee, you can look at um, the entire year and see when what type of leaves are being taken or will be taken. And also you will see on the right side a summary. So this employee started on started as an employee on 6th January. And you can see totally there are four uh, vacation days, one sick day and totally that's five days of leave and there are 249 working days or worked days. Um, so that's a good summary of one employee at a time. And then you can also see by month. So in January, how many days of vacation, how many days of sick leave and all that, uh, all of that is summarized for each month for this employee. And as I showed you already, you can easily uh, toggle to another employee and it instantly updates. So this is a nice way to look at one employee at a time. But let's say for example, 
we go into the team dashboard, we can actually see multiple employees at a time. So here you can actually have around 30 employees that we are able to see all in one page. And this looks at, uh, as you see at the top, you see the different uh, uh, days, and this is for the month of November, and I can change it, for example, if I wanna see October, and the dashboard updates to the October data because the sample data has more data for November. I'm just gonna use November as an example here. Uh, you see that November 25th is highlighted in purple because it's a holiday. Uh, why is it a holiday? Because we enter that in the settings um, as 25th November is a holiday. And so that gets displayed in purple. All the weekends, uh, remember we chose weekends as Saturday and Sunday. So I can go back here and let's remove Saturday. Only Sundays are weekends. So now I come back here, only the Sundays will be in that gray uh, color cells. So very, very instant, very easy for you to customize to your own needs. And um, all the other different, the five types of uh, uh, leave types are listed in the appropriate colors on the screen here. You can see that, you know, other is uh, teal, uh, yellow is unpaid and red is sick and all that. So this comes through uh, exactly as expected automatically. And you can choose any month, uh, one month at a time to see what's going on in this month. So this is a great way Let's say you have a team of 10 people or 15 people and you want to just have a quick view on for a specific month i want to understand who's available when who's going to be out and why this is a very very simple tool for you to get that view and just like the employee report on the right side you have a summary so for uh this month you can actually see the you know how many days of uh, leave is Adams going to take, how many days of leave is Baker going to take. So the total leave column tells you, uh, you know, how much of your team will be not available due to leave in this month. And you'll also have the worked days calculation. So out of the 25 days, um, how many are each employee is being available for. Great way to know the capacity of your team so that you can plan ahead um, so this is ideally something that you want to do prior. So before the beginning of the month, all the planned leave can be entered so that you have a better idea like vacation. Uh, but of course, you can't plan everything. You can't have the sick days planned, but at least the vacation and other planned holidays or, um, you know, planning when you go into a month so that you know how much capacity you have, which will tell you how much projects or demand you can take on. That's the purpose of this template, uh, to simplify the leave tracking with multiple leave types and uh, have an employee report as well as team dashboard. Now, we also have an advanced version of this template or a, a premium version of this template where you can actually enter the number of days entitled as leave for an employee. So let me quickly show you that. So here we are, we are in the leave manager template, which is a premium template from inzone.com. Um, in addition to the features that we already talked about, here you can actually enter the entitlement. So I can say each employee is eligible for eight days of uh, vacation in the year. And so this is what the template will use to calculate what it calls as a balance report. So for every employee, I know what the eligible or entitled uh, leave count is, and I can actually see what is the used and what is still uh, available for or balance uh, leave available for each employee. So that's a key feature that is different. We also have additional a daily report uh, for every single day. If you want to look at, you know, which employees are going to be out and why, you can see that. Uh, our employee report that we saw in the free template is even enhanced here. You have uh, a lot more features and um, for every different type of leave you will have the entitled used and balance we also have more leave types so if i go back to the settings you actually have a lot more leave types and uh, or color options as well and all of these uh, the, both templates are easy to customize so if you want to change the colors it's very easy if you need any assistance please reach out to us uh, at support at nzr.com and we'll be happy to uh, help you uh, and then we also have the monthly team dashboard, which is similar to the team dashboard that we saw before, but now we have a lot more leave types uh, and, and a lot more options for you to choose from. 
uh, because for example, I can now filter only want to see department uh, 10 employees. I can just type department 10 if I uh, type. So I can type and I can see only the uh, employees belonging to that department. So if you have a lot of employees, this will come in very handy. Um, so more employees, more functionality, more reporting, especially calculating the balance of leave for each employee, then the premium template is the right template. Um, I would request you to try the free template and uh, please give me give us feedback on how uh, it is useful. And also if there are any features that you would like to add uh, or how to make it uh, even better, we look forward to your feedback. Thank you so much uh, for watching. All the links to these templates uh, will be in the video description. Uh, we look forward to talking to you again in another video. Thank you so much.